Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. I'm going to start off by giving you an overview in regards to this case, this situation, this article right here. There is a link in the description if you'd rather go through things more thoroughly yourself. It's in regards to this alleged scumbag that you see in front of you, Natalia Suero. Uh, she's from North Carolina, but she's been arrested in New York in regards to the death of her two-year-old son. Um, who was found face up in a pond back in March the 12th. Uh, so this scumbag, Natalia Suero, 29 years of age, has been taken into custody in Westchester County. I believe that's in New York or, you know, New York City or such. Um, she's been charged with being a fugitive from justice and she wakes extradition back to North Carolina going to read through some of the details pertaining to the discovery of the deceased two-year-old boy. Uh, this scumbag at approximately 9am on March the 12th flagged down an off-duty officer in an area called Park Road Park, which if I understand correctly, I believe that to be in North Carolina. If I have that wrong, apologies, but that is my understanding. Um, she allegedly told the off-duty officer that her son, whose name was Jonathan Suero, was in the pond and not breathing. The off-duty officer accompanied the scumbag to the pond and the off-duty officer found two-year-old Jonathan Suero, the scumbag's son, face up floating in the pond. The off-duty officer attempted to perform life-saving procedures, but unfortunately the uh, child died, was pronounced dead, shortly after arriving at a, a medical centre. The alleged scumbag was taken in for questioning and investigators interviewed her following the incident and they found that her responses, her answers to the questions, were suspicious. They were vague and inconsistent. She was full of shit, essentially, particularly in regards to the timeline of the events leading up to Jonathan ending up in the pool in sorry in the pond an expert in aquatic deaths was consulted and the expert advised detectives that Natalia's story was not supported by science specifically that the victim was floating and face up okay so apparently floating and face up um, is not consistent with drowning is my understanding there uh, detectives investigating the circumstances obtained a murder warrant for this scumbag natalia suero the mother of the deceased two-year-old boy jonathan suero uh, they obtained a murder warrant on may the 26th they searched suero's the scumbag's apartment and that yielded phone records that supported a police theory that the mother was lying about the fact that she found her son lying face up in the water. Um, there's still an investigation ongoing. Uh, the article doesn't provide us to the full reasons as to why they fail to believe this woman's account of events. Uh, but seemingly, as far as I can gather, the aquatic experts, uh, the experts in aquatic deaths, um, are saying, hey, look, if you drown, you're not going to be floating and face upwards. It's just not something that happened. So her story is seemingly full of holes. But that's really as much as we know at this point in time. Of course, prayers to the lost soul. A two-year-old boy has died. It's possible. We don't know for 100% at this point in time. But I'm going to say, from my speculation, it looks like he was murdered. It looks like his mother was involved to some extent, if not in his murder, then in the cover-up of what actually did happen. So we don't know what happened, of course, at this point in time, but hopefully uh, the investigation continues and that does come to light. And let's hope that this woman gets exactly what she deserves and what she deserves is a just trial and then following that, if the evidence is such that the jurors are able to declare this woman guilty of murder of her own two-year-old son, she should get exactly what's coming up, coming to her. Um, I believe she would face trial in North Carolina. I'm kind of guessing there. 
I don't know if they have the death penalty in North Carolina. Um, if not, let's hope that she gets uh, life in prison or a very long sentence for killing a two-year-old son, her two-year-old son, if indeed that is what occurred. We don't know that for sure. But to me, I have a lot of faith in the investigators and the experts. And seemingly at this point in time, what we do know is the experts, uh, the investigators feel that she's full of shit. I mean, it's possible that um, there's more to the story which will alleviate her level of guilt, perhaps. But uh, I mean, it seems like the boy died in a way which is different to drowning in the pond. And my guess would be that the boy's body was transported by the mother uh, and perhaps with the assistance of other people, other, another person, um, the boy's body was transported to the pond and dumped in the pond. That would be my guess, my speculation. I could be entirely wrong. But uh, seemingly that's one possibility of what could have happened. That the boy died somehow and the mother felt a need to hide the actual reasons as to why the boy died and to take the boy from wherever he did die to the pond and to try to concoct a story a narrative such that the two-year-old boy her own son Jonathan Swero accidentally drowned so look again I just hope the investigators go ahead and they're able to nail this bitch I'm going to wrap things up here, guys. Thanks for your time.